Good morning, everyone. I have been researching the next gen learning standards, which you know uh, New York is rolling out. However, they won't be fully implemented for another year or so. However, it's really important that we start learning about the next gen standards now. I am going to attach to this video that I sent to you an email um, an appendix. Math also has an appendix of some of the specific terms and we touched upon that during the last video. Some of you reached out to me for that appendix and I sent it on. This is the Learning um, Standards Language Arts Appendix. And it gives you some specific words that I, I assume that we will see on the tests as they roll out the new tests as well. Uh, for some examples, there's the word sight, um, collegial, digital tools, digital media, things that we might need to start thinking about when we're talking to our students and discussing different ways to get information and being very specific. There are some words on there that are not a surprise to us like evidence and inference. Um, but it's very important like paraphrase, point of view, recount, which is a word that we would use to retell, but normally we say retell, but they're providing us with recount. So just some specific little things that maybe we could use in our language with our students that could help us as we move towards the next gen learning standards for ELA. I will include this and um, if you get a chance, take a look at it, print it out. Um, you could copy and paste it into your drive and have it as a reference. Okay, thanks everyone and have a great day.